Boeing stock is more expensive now, arguably, than it's ever been. Looking at what I have pulled up here, Boeing's forward price to earnings ratio, Boeing stock is trading at a forward PE of nearly 42. And if we look back across 2023, this is the most expensive this stock has been, according to this metric. Now, Boeing very often trades at these elevated forward price to earnings ratios, which is interesting because it's not a relatively fast growing stock and it's very it's a very capital intensive business. So it kind of bucks the trend here in terms of valuation and the types of business models employed. But I'm going to talk about in this video why everyone is willing to pay these higher valuations for Boeing stock and really why everyone's been talking about Boeing stock in recent months. So let's get right into these details here. So in the first quarter, Boeing's revenue was $17.9 billion and that was up 28% year over year. This is not usual for Boeing. Boeing doesn't typically grow revenues that quickly, but the reason for this big jump is because last year it was more constrained than it was this year due to supply chain shortages, some regulatory issues, and so on. So that's why this year, comparing with last year, the growth was much higher. Longer term, investors should not expect this type of growth from Boeing, right? And this was primarily driven by, again, the higher volume this year compared to last year. However, core operating margin was negative 2.5% and the core loss per share was $1.27. This is also not usual for Boeing. Boeing is typically solidly profitable with operating profit margins in the double digits. Again, some peculiar items disrupting Boeing's business in recent quarters. And namely, a charge on the KC-46 tanker program for the U.S. Air Force. They had to take a charge, a one-time charge on that item. Also, free cash flow in the quarter was negative $786 million. Typically, Boeing generates very healthy free cash flow for the year. In fact, longer term, in two or three years, they expect to get back to a level where they're generating $10 billion in cash flow, free cash flow annually. So again, disruption, not the usual for Boeing here. In the quarter, they booked Boeing's commercial airline segment, booked 107 net orders, and they have a backlog of over 4,500. And that backlog of airplanes is valued at $334 billion. And there you have it, folks. That's the reason why investors are willing to pay a premium valuation for Boeing stock because of this transparency because of this visibility into its future. You can be confident as an investor of what Boeing's revenue and profits are going to look like for the next decade because it's got this backlog of orders already. Orders Now, this 4,500 airplanes might take Boeing around 8 to 10 years to fulfill. It might take them that long to fulfill all of these orders. So you've got, and this is just in its commercial airline segment. It's still got its defense segment, right? And so you've got this huge backlog of orders. So you know as an investor that Boeing's going to have this revenue, even if there's a recession later this year, even if there's a recession next year, even if that recession is steep, Boeing already has these orders. And airlines or Boeing's customers typically order years in advance because they know it's going to take a while to get delivery of these planes so its business is less exposed to economic cycles the ups and downs of the economy you get more visibility and that's a big positive for stock market investors if you have transparency and you have lower risk you're willing to pay a higher price for the business because you have visibility you have transparency Investing in other businesses, you don't know that. There are some companies that you don't know if they're even going to be in business four years from now, let alone what their revenue is going to be like four years from now. You get that certainty with Boeing. And because of the certainty, investors are willing to pay that higher price. And so that's why right now you've got a lot of interest in Boeing stock and everyone is talking about it because the company's getting 
closer to ramping up its production, getting closer to getting back to full strength, where it's going to deliver these healthy revenue figures and profit figures going forward. And that's why you've got the valuation that's near the highest it's been, because investors are excited and anticipating the company's going to rebound and recover. And it's going to be a if you look at two years from now, that valuation that won't look so expensive because earnings are lower this year, earnings are likely to be higher next year, and then much, much higher in 2025 and 2026 when the company expects to work through all of these constraints that have been holding it back in recent quarters. All right, but that's all I've got for this video on why everyone is talking about Boeing stock. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.